Hello, and welcome to Life is Strange. I finally got the game! I've been wanting it for a while, needed to wait a little bit, now I have it. Episode 5 hasn't come out yet, so I'm only slightly behind. But I think this game's awesome. I've seen a couple people play the first episode and part of the second episode, but I'm gonna play it this time. It's gonna be me playing it. New game. And new microphone. Because I got a new microphone. I was using my phone before, and yeah, finally got over that. And now I have a nice microphone. It's not great, but it's better than a phone. Place sign. Come on, let's go. Screw the storm, just run. Makes everything easier. Random center box. Well, that's cute. Oh, shit. It's pretty uh, accurate. Whoa! That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted oh. by the eyes of those okay. sad- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Uh, and frankly, it's bullshit. No. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, big. though. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And capture you in a moment oh, of desperation. Cute. And any one of you could do that uh, to me. What am I doing? Looking. Oh. Isn't that too easy? Apparently, we're going to take too a selfie. Obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of Do course, I... as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, 
this one. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Oh, fuck you. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally Man, stuck in the fuck macro zone. You. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process like brought out fine case. detail in people's faces. Why not? I can't they believe can I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st yes, century. Yes, you But I like it old school. Uh-huh. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Or even... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? That you are a very, very typical teenager. Not really, because you're talking about reading books by Ray Bradbury. Good author, but yeah. Oh my god, there's too many. Huh. I'll just read these later. Hey, my birthday. Sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, there's still one more. Or two more, technically. Okay. And then that's when we already got to On one. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, it's okay, Max. It's just a photograph. Uh, oh, you want to talk to... Victoria doesn't waste a second no. kissing ass. Oh, what's on the computer? No, what's on the computer? No, let me... No, how do I... No, I, I did it for like two seconds. Come on. There we go. Uh, look. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. No, I couldn't guess that. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Interesting. Okay. You. Uh, actually, wait. Look at the paper ball first. Look. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh, it's fine. Just a little ass. Ooh, etch marks. Uh, photo. I don't even know what it says. Oh, totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I'm sure you don't have any gifts. Hi, Kate. Oh, Kate. Hi, Max. Right. Uh. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I feel like Kate looks like she's had one too many drugs. Is there anything else in here? Ooh, a tablet. What's on the tablet? I should have known. She'll oh, have better course. equipment than Blackwell. Uh, this one. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Obviously. And people laughed. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even Meh. think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. I mean, makes sense. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Probably is. She's a bitch. Poster. Uh, poster. There we go. 
Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. It'll be so much fun. Uh, oh god, you I can't see. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. I'm not paying her. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. I know, isn't it, bruh? She's so fucking shy. Music time. Who are you? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. American locker. Girls I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Oh, you're fine. I love that picture of mom and dad. American Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Like Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. I have nothing to say. Just. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Oh, okay. She's definitely not trying to get laid or anything. Hey, don't run into me, Brooke. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Ah, stop running into me. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. Andy's a vortex. I hate no, bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Thank you. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. But do it. Just do it. It looks like she's been gone for months. I wish I had. Oh, Rachel. I wish October would last forever. Me too. I like October. Hayden. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Who are you? Some random person. That's fun. What about you two? Juliet and Zach. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Alright, it's bathroom. Don't. Get this eventually. Empty, you could. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> oh, you're okay, Max. Uh, you have to use this one? Oh, look at this. Uh, uh, yes. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yeah, probably. It's okay. Just relax. Max. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Poor photo. Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's one very pretty butterfly. Uh, don't get too close. Don't scare it away. Uh, uh, uh. 
Good job. It's oh. cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh shit, son. Whoa. What the fuck?